Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips. Welcome to this episode of Inkscape for Teachers, in which I'll show you how to produce a fairly detailed sign graph such as this one here. I go to a blank document. If you need to, you go File, New up there, but I've already done that. And I'm also going to show the page grid by selecting Page Grid under View. And then I'm going to draw a an 8 by 4 rectangle and click the Select tool and then under Extensions, uh, Render, Function Plotter and put in the settings that I've got here. Uh, of course minus 1 to 1 here isn't really minus 1 to 1, it's multiplying that by 2 pi, so that's minus 2 pi to 2 pi which is what I want in this case. I can click Live Preview if I want to at uh, apply and close when you're ready. And I'll click the rectangle, I don't need that at the moment. And delete it. But you might see that there's a little bit of a, an odd phenomena occurring here. Just the way that the extension to Inkscape has plotted the points and tried to join them. But uh, with that selected, yeah, it is selected now, I'll go to extension, modify path and flatten Bezier's. It should be part of the original function path, but anyway setting of 10 works well, apply and there it is, closed, nice and sharp again which is fantastic with that selected I'm going to shift click blue to give it a blue colour ah, you can see they both went blue there uh, I'll control Z, it's because it's all part of the one object if I click on this and go path, break apart and click away then just click on uh, the graph, shift pick the blue and it's only the graph that's changed to blue, which is what I wanted. Under fill and stroke, up to stroke style and make that uh, 0.7 I found works well. I'll put the ends as rounded, I think it looks a bit neater. And the axes, I'll shift click uh, the axes, change them to 0.5 and put an arrow on the end. And there are the axes. So there's a way of getting a, a good sign graph. I'll um, get rid of the grid, or not get rid of it, just not show it, page grid. And you can see there I've got a nice sign graph. Now the good thing about Inkscape is you can modify any aspect of the graph. Clicking on the graph, changing it to, to green, oh, that's filled it with green, that could be what you want, but Control Z, shift click to change the colour of the graph. You can bump the, the width right up. Uh, or back the other way uh, and you can uh, change the axes arrowhead style for example go to a smaller arrowhead there if you thought that was less intrusive whatever you want to do a very uh, customizable inkscape of course if you wanted uh, to break the graph <coughs> excuse me I can click on this if you press N for the node tool see there's the 300 points now you can pick a point to break the graph at, or I like to go Control L and it simplifies the number of points. Now if I double click there and go break up here, then you still have to go path, break apart, select tool, click away, then click the branch you want to delete, delete that, and you can do that. If you want uh, more cycles of the sign graph, Control D to duplicate, and you can snap things together there, that wasn't, uh, that, yes it did snap there eventually, uh, if I want even more, control D, if you zoom in sometimes and, yeah, you can get it to snap, uh, you can uh, group that, you can uh, scrunch it up by just dragging it that way, control D to duplicate that, you know, it's not snapping, uh, Brilliantly there. there, there it is. You can do all sorts of things in Inkscape, so uh, you can label the axes. I've shown you how to do that in the tan graph video. Go back to this, there's my sine graph. Similar way you can produce a cos graph. And there's the tan graph in which I showed you in that video how to produce these little markings. Once again, hope that's of some use to you and uh, thanks for watching. Remember to visit mathspro.com for lists of other videos and uh, support uh, my maths template business. Thanks a lot. Bye.